now. A little if you're nuts, trying right? Trying to decide. Yeah, a little nuts. Hey, what's also a little crazy right now is our weather. Obviously, we had that wintry mix yesterday, and right behind you, I see we got some visibility issues as well. Stuff. Yes, we do. So you are going to be hitting the roads, dealing with not only slick conditions, but lowered visibility, dense fog all across the region, and we have seen visibility drop to about a mile and a half in the city. That can definitely slow you down. Two miles, the visibility level in Shelbyville, and under that in Kokomo and in Lafayette. So leave early if you can. You don't want to have to rush through these conditions. In fact, here's a live look over the city. Normally we can see the whole city, all the lights from above here from this camera, but right now we can only see the light in the corner there of the tower because that fog is so dense. Can't see anything from this camera. 34 degrees too, so it is a very cold start to the morning. 36 right now in Shelbyville, 35 in Columbus, and 36 right now in Terre Haute. So bundle up as you head out the door, and I'd recommend and your boots as well give you that traction a little bit of a breeze still that is now shifting to the south as this load does continue to slide our direction and so with a little bit of a breeze we will have a small wind chill factor that's making it feel like the 20s for indianapolis but only making it a feel a couple of degrees cooler in the rest. guardian radar is quieting down we did have that wintry through the region overnight. That's why we've got these slick conditions. Not really picking up on anything at the moment, but I will tell you that we do have some drizzle out there. It's just low enough that it's flying underneath the radar beam, so not really being picked up on this map. Much more active to our north. That snow system now lifting through Michigan, parts of Wisconsin, and look at one of these weather observations coming out of Iowa. 14 inches of snow and still falling in some of those areas. Then we had a recording of about four and a half inches of snow in the Madison, Wisconsin area. Now this is lifting to the northeast through Cleveland, Pittsburgh, waking up to that icy mix this morning. Now we will continue to have some spots of drizzle over the next couple of hours, but it's not going to amount to very much. Yesterday we had about a quarter inch of rain. Today we are talking less than half of that. Then as we head through the afternoon, you're going to see just a couple pops of moisture here, some of it being picked up as light snow, but for the most part that will be melting on its way down. This time tomorrow should be dry and quiet, but heading into the afternoon, we will get another push of snow, especially Indianapolis and South. So Columbus, Bloomington, Shelbyville, you will be dealing with at least brushing off your car with the snow tomorrow, perhaps even having to lightly shovel your driveway up to an inch possible, but north of the city, hardly even a coating out of that. Today, light scattered rain it will be cold highs only in the upper 30s which is fairly normal for this time of the year then tonight cold and cloudy tomorrow we will have that light snow especially in the afternoon and mainly south of the city here's your weekly planner we will quiet down for thursday and friday but it will be colder there morning time is going to be in the teens and then saturday sunday and monday next round of wintry mix the traffic authority powered by tom wood automotive and actually just tweeted about a new crash here that was called in just about five minutes.